As KUAM Sports first reported earlier this year, a football skills combine with Division Three coach Bob Harmon of the North Park University Vikings is going down in February. And this represents a huge opportunity for high school-aged footballers to catch the attention of a collegiate-level coach who believes Guam has the talent to make it, especially since Harmon is already coaching Guam-grown Juwan King. Now he's coming with an expectation that, hey, we got one kid from Guam. We know what caliber of player he is, so there's got to be more. So when he comes here, he's going to come here looking for kids who are as humble and hungry as King is. So it is it's very important for them to really prepare, eat right. You got to eat right uh, to get yourself ready. Harmon is expected to arrive with some of his coaching staff, and they are in tune to the undiscovered talent our region has. And with the success of Pacific Islanders in the NFL and in the NCAA, Harmon is looking to get to the gold rush early. So Dowdell says if you want to make an impression, the time to focus is here. Prepare now. You know, don't start in February for a February combine. You got to start now preparing, and that may mean this year uh, laying off of some of the red rice and all the good food that's available to you. Uh, with the end goal in mind of being at your very best during the camp. Coach says not only the body should be prepared for the combine, but the mind as well. He advises you get your academic house in order since bad grades could potentially sink your ship before it has even set sail. Now what should you prepare for? Dowdell says there will be position-specific skill drills as well as some of the expected tests used to measure your game on the gridiron. The gold standard drill is, of course, a 40-yard dash. You know, and you don't have to run a four or five if you're an offensive lineman. Everyone's just looking to see if you can move. And we'll have the 60-yard shuttle and the 30-yard shuttle that we'll do. And then for the receivers, uh, we're going to have plenty of chances for you to catch the ball, quarterbacks, running backs, a lot of drills on footwork, speed ladders, and things like that. For more info on the Combine and to possibly train with Dowdell, call the coach at 487-1749. You can call them Guam Strong. The Northeast Bulldogs of the Miracle Dream Youth Football League in El Paso, Texas, finishing the season as winners across all of their divisions, with the Bulldogs' intermediate 10- to 11-year-old team going undefeated at 11-0 and winning the division championship and all-star game. Head coach and owner Anthony Kanata Duncan, formerly of Umatic, has several Chamorro players on the Bulldogs' organization roster, including Elias Anito Duncan, Brian Minter, and P.J. Kanata. Now, coincidentally, all of the boys' parents are originally from the beautiful southern village of Umatic. And Coach Duncan's wife also coaches the cheer squad, which features some little chamaritas. The Bulldogs, Pee Wee, and minor squads also fared well this season, making it all the way to their divisional all-star games. The Bulldogs also boast three-time Super Bowl Pittsburgh Steelers champion kicker Roy Garella as their USA football ambassador. And all of the team's coaches are heads-up certified through the NFL to coach youth football. Now, even though the number of Chamorros on the roster doesn't make up a majority of the players, Coach Duncan says the team feels the importance of standing for our island. Yes, we're always you know, proud to represent Guam and whatever we're doing out here in the States, whether it's sports or whatever it may be. You know, we're a prideful people, so, you know, we're always going to put, you know, try to put Guam on the map no matter what we're doing or where we're at. Duncan says plans are in the works to possibly have the Bulldogs come back to Guam for an exhibition game against local youth footballers. As always, we'll keep you posted right here on KUAM Sports. The undefeated Guam shipyard team remains perched atop the Budweiser Soccer League Premier Division standings following a 3-2 edging of the Bank of Guam Strikers. Shipyard's Camden Uggen powered in the eventual game-winning goal in stoppage time on a goal mouth scramble following a corner kick, and his team held on to win in its closest fixture so far this season. In the team's previous meeting this season, Shipyard blanked the strikers 5-0 on November 19th. Kenneth Karasic and Mark Chargaloff also scored for the winning team.